everyone welcome back we are stuck at home uh, because of yet another snowstorm here in Toronto so I thought I would take this time to film a first impressions review video um, on my new toy Lulu bag in uh, the dark turquoise with the silver hardware I have only had this bag um, for about two and a half weeks, but I've used it a few times, so I thought um, that I've used it enough to do a first impressions review and to show what fits. So, uh, so like I said, I got it in this dark turquoise color with the silver hardware. It's a really pretty color and it's kind of coming up darker on screen right now than it is. Um, but I have posted photos as well on my Instagram if you want to see a more accurate uh, depiction of the color. So uh, this is the Toy Lulu, which is the smallest size of the Lulus. Um, I will measure it here so that you can get an idea of the size. So it is about seven and a half inches wide or long I guess that would be the length and then the height is let's see here just under six inches and the depth is about just under three inches so that is the size so it's a pretty small bag but um, I'm actually really happy with how much it fits so it, you can see that it is in this kind of soft, squishy calf leather. Um, it did come with some creases on it, which I posted a, a photo on Instagram and asked for some feedback from people who have the bag. And most people said that theirs came with creases too. Um, all of them that I looked at at the store had some creasing. So I'm not going to worry too much about it because it is kind of that squishy leather that I feel like, you know, it's going to get some creases eventually anyway. So, um, I really like the texture of the leather. Like it feels pretty durable. I don't think it's going to scratch or anything. Um, but yeah, just because it is soft, it's probably going to crease a little bit. So, uh, it's a flat bag with a magnetic snap closure. Show you that there. See, so the magnet is pretty strong. Uh, have some stuffing in here. I'll take that out. And the stretch, the stretch, the strap is detachable. Sorry, I can't talk today. Um, so it is a detachable strap. Uh, it has these clasps here, and uh, it detaches or attaches, I should say, at these little D-rings on the side. And the nice thing about this strap, which I um, am definitely planning to do, is you can take off this longer part. So here where it's adjustable, you can uh, unattach it and then take off the longer part and use this part as a wristlet. So you would just attach it to one side and use the bag as a wristlet, which I think is really nice for you know, going out for dinner or something where you don't need a, a big long strap. So I definitely plan to do that at some point. I haven't yet. And uh, the, the strap is adjustable and it has three settings, I believe it is. Yeah, just three holes there. So you can adjust the length. Um, I, on me, I'm five foot four and I have it set on the middle hole. So the inside has two main compartments and then it's got a slip pocket in the middle that divides it as well as a zip pocket at the back and then at the front let's see if I can show that whoop there we go uh, there are how many is it one two three card slots plus a bigger slip pocket here so it's got quite a bit of room for a small bag so I'm going to show you guys what fits um, and how I've packed it when I've used it. So I've been using my uh, dark turquoise Chanel accessories because when I bought this bag I thought this was 
a much different color from this, but they're actually kind of similar. I mean, the Chanel one is iridescent and you really, I mean, the texture is different, um, but they're in the same color family. Uh, so I think they go nicely together. So I've been putting, let me see, where did I put this? I think I've been putting this, My this is the round coin purse, by the way, which is quite wide. Um, so you could also do a mini O case instead. Um, so I've been sticking that in there, which it fits really nicely. And then I've been using this as my wallet. So the zipped, uh, zippy coin purse, again, from Chanel's uh, Dark Turquoise Filigree Collection. So that fits nicely right in the front compartment. And I've also put some extra, like I had some extra gift cards that I was planning to use the other day. So I stuck them in these card slots, which was handy to have. And then my six key holder, which also has my car key fob. Um, so it's pretty bulky and it fits quite nicely there. And then um, I don't have it handy, but I was putting a lip balm and a lip gloss on this side here because there's a bunch of space here because I'm using the round coin purse and not a mini O case which would be longer I was putting a lip balm and a lip gloss here and it all fits so nicely and you can see that it easily closes and it's not bulky at all so I still have room to spare uh, with what I've put in here um, and like I said there's card slots that I could easily fill plus this slip compartment so if I wanted to put receipts or extra cards I could put those in there so I mean for such a small bag it holds a lot and um, it's I'm finding because it's got the crossbody strap and it's really kind of user-friendly with the flap and it holds everything I need it's a really great uh, bag for daily use or weekend use um, for going out you know running errands going shopping it's it's a really great bag so I'm really happy with the quality too I, I just I really love this feeling of the squishy leather and I love the um, the Y quilting on it I think it's really pretty I'll show it on the back too so you can see it's shaped at, like a Y for um, Yves Saint Laurent so it's, uh, yeah, it's a really cute bag and a really great value for the price. Uh, this was $14.95 plus tax in Canada, and I think that's just such a great price for a designer bag uh, of this quality. So I am loving it so far. Um, hopefully I covered everything that you may be wondering about this bag. If you have any other questions, please leave them and the, leave them in the comment section below and I will definitely be happy to answer them. I will do a more uh, thorough review once I've had this bag for a while, uh, maybe a wear and tear review since um, people are, I think, interested in how well this bag will hold up over time. Um, and I'm very interested in that too. Um, obviously, I don't know. This is my first Saint Laurent bag that I've ever owned. So I, um, I really don't know how well it's going to hold up you know in six months a year or two years so uh, I will keep you posted on that but I'm definitely happy that I added it to my collection and uh, yeah if if there's anything I didn't cover please let me know in the comment section below uh, anyway I'm going to end this video here thank you so much for watching if you like this type of video please consider subscribing and also following me on Instagram my handle there is fashionjunkie33 Thanks so much and have a great day.